Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back to break down um, my lineups from Tuesday, or no, from Monday. It is Tuesday. Oh my gosh. What what a start. Okay, so break down my lineups from Monday. Uh, so on FanDuel, I'm doing a $25 challenge. It started a couple of weeks ago. I started with $25. Uh, I play around $10 in cash every night on NBA, and I can go up to $25 for NFL. It's been mostly around $20. And so we're at $70. I had a couple of bad days with NBA and one bad NFL slate, so that's kind of why it's only at $70. Um, I do have some contests already entered for today, so. but that's what I'm doing over here on FanDuel. DraftKings is where I play most of my money, uh, but on FanDuel I thought it'd be fun. Uh, I wanted to play uh, FanDuel, so I thought it would be fun to do this and kind of have, a, I don't know, a little bit of a challenge going on over here. Uh, so let's get into the lineup. So... On the right is the top lineup in this 50-50 that I was in, and on the left, obviously, is my lineup. And so, kind of a lot of similarities here. Um, Tyler Johnson, we had that Goran Dragic news uh, come in, and so it was pretty much jam them into cash. Jam those Heat players into cash. Uh, Tyler Johnson put up 27.6. Um, his turnovers, he, he turned the ball over a lot. He had, like, two offensive charges. He fouled out of the game. It was just kind of a... He played decently well, but it was kind of a nightmare. He could have done a lot better than he did. Russell Westbrook, the chalk at 74%. Um, Tyler Johnson, chalk at 64 uh, Donovan Mitchell went out and put up an absolute dud, six points. Uh, uh, he's been averaging eight. He's, his season average is 18 points. So just a nightmare uh, kind of game from Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Dion Waiters. Went out and put up 33.1. He had four turnovers as well. He reduces those turnovers. He puts up 37 and uh, a, a lot crazier of a game. He wasn't as chalk, only 30% for Waiters. I knew Waiters would shoot. And so, you know, when Dion Waiters is going to shoot, you're going to get some, uh, you're going to you're gonna get points out of Dion Waiters. Uh, he put up 23 points. He also had five assists. Uh, Kevin Durant, the hammer, you'll see on DraftKings. I had him both places. He was 87% over here, so it didn't really help you as much. Uh... What did he shoot? Did he shoot 9 of 28 or something like that? He he turned it around in OT, but he was 4 for 20, I think, going into OT. I think he was 4 for 20 going into OT, and I believe he went 5 for 8 in overtime. Um, Clay Thompson is just anemic. Watching Clay play without Steph is just painful. Um, but Durant puts up 71, gets a steal, 3 blocks, goes absolutely ham. Josh Richardson goes absolutely nuts with three steals and two blocks here on FanDuel, giving him a nice 15 points to start out with, not even taking in the fact that he scored 26 points. <coughs> so Josh Richardson coming in at 47.3. Jordan Bell, I mentioned yesterday in the pod that I didn't love Jordan Bell, but over here uh, at 4,700, he fit into my lineup, so he made it in. Uh, I wanted Beasley and Sarich, but I decided to go Donovan Mitchell over them so I don't know that that didn't work out well and then the mistake I made over here is I played Ekpe Udo over Rashawn Holmes um I wanted to hedge I have Rashawn Holmes on DraftKings I wanted to hedge because Ekpe Udo was my pivot uh so I was like well I'll play Ekpe Udo and then it almost ended up costing me cash over here that would have been really frustrating but that Richardson 21% really helped um but I have these guys all over on DraftKings um uh, so that's the FanDuel lineup. Like I said, just a little bit of a fun challenge I'm doing over here on FanDuel. Hopefully I can keep it up. I want to see if I can actually build some sort of actual huge bankroll on FanDuel doing this weird challenge, uh, just to kind of show that you can start from $25 and you can turn this into something. Obviously most, and if you can deposit more and do a hundred dollars starting lineup, and then you play, you know, $20 a night instead of the 10, you can build it faster also lose it faster but seeing as I was playing like 30% of my bankroll to start with that probably wasn't great I'm still playing like 12 13% or 14% of it which is more than I like to play but that is the FanDuel lineup we'll go over here and we'll head over to DraftKings uh, we have multiple lineups to take a peek at here uh, or not lineups we have multiple um, contests so we'll start out this is the $2 giant entry uh, double up I finished 15th put up 355.25 you'll see um, the GPPs that I did in this. So we'll take a look at the ownership here. Uh, Rashawn Holmes came in at 30%. Sarich, 47.5%. Westy, essentially 70%. Uh, Mickey came in at 50%. Uh, Michael Beasley came in at 60%. Um, Kevin Durant came in at 66%. 
Josh Richardson, 43%, and Tyler Johnson, 48%. All if you you know on the on the phone it shows like the fire when they go off or when they're they are exceeding expectation, which I don't like because to DraftKings they project these guys at like four X, and that's not real. No one wants their guy to get four X, uh, and so you they they're better this year. Last year it was like four X. This year I guess it's like four and a half, closer to five X, which is what you want. Um, so. Yeah, I finished 15th in this contest. There were some other guys with my lineup. It was a decently chalky lineup, as you'll see in the GPPs as well. People, Some of the people in the GPPs had my line. But there were a lot of us tied for this uh, 15th. Uh, if you come down here, there was... What is that? Is that... There were 79 of us? That, no, yeah, no, no. There were 65 entries, I think, tied for tied for this so 65 entries were tied with this same score uh but finish at 15 not a bad finish in uh in in cash games uh in a in a giant double up here with 5747 entries uh so lineup up put up 345 we did get a stat correction block from kevin durant late didn't hurt me uh didn't help me in anything uh pretty much same the same the top guy had eight more points it was jay wexy who only had one lineup in here one two and three only had one lineup had S. Gibby, Spike, and and J. Wexy. Um, you also had this guy who had, what is that? He would have 11 lineups in here. I put 20 lineups into this. This is one of my favorite contests because um, it has usually around 6,000 entries. Um, and only, you can only have a max of 20 entries. So it kind of, it, it's one of my favorite contests to play. I always max enter it usually. And so it's one of my favorite contests. Uh, always, you know, same cash. I only put on the one cash lineup. So we'll take a look at the top guy real quick here. He had my boy Dame. If you do not know, I play Damian Lillard way too much. I did not play him last night on a night where he almost put up a triple-double. Uh, it just blows my mind. The one night, really, that I don't play Damian Lillard. But he didn't really crush or anything at 48. Um, the big guy that he had was Isaiah Cannon, which I talked about last night. I told you guys, or, or yesterday, I told you guys, Isaiah Cannon, you know, Mike James isn't playing. And Cannon went out there and beasted for 37 points at 3,500, I think. So absolutely crazy game from Isaiah Cannon. He was on the optimal lineup, obviously. Uh, Brandon Ingram had himself a really nice game. I said I kind of, I think I said I liked Brandon Ingram, but I didn't love him. Uh, maybe I said I didn't like him. I don't, I don't remember. But he had a very nice game. Put up forty one and a half. Uh, and then other than that, there's just a bunch of guys from my lineup. So what did, what did I end up having? I had Westbrook and Holmes over Isaiah Cannon and Lillard. Or no wait, he's got Ingram in there. So. Uh, um, I had Mickey, I had Mickey, Holmes, and Westy over Lillard, Ingram, and Isaiah Cannon, so that's an interesting, the crazy thing is I actually had enough to get to Isaiah Cannon over Jordan Mickey, which would have been a swing of, uh, how much did Mickey score, Mickey scored 25, Mickey 25, 12 more points, so I would have finished first in this with 12 more points, so I'd have had 157, 25. So I'm going to finish first with that swap, but I'm happy with how I finished. Um, kind of wish I could have finished a little higher in the GPPs, but there was the, the uh, $2 uh, double up. Here's the single entry. Uh, this is the $5 single entry, the bigger one. Um, so here are the ownerships here. Uh, Michael Beasley coming in a little bit owned, lower owned at 50%. Holmes about the same. Sarge about the same. Westbrook a little bit lower at 52%. Mickey a lower at 30, oh, 38% essentially. Tyler Johnson lower. Richardson lower. Uh, these $5, the single entries always have a lot lower ownership on the hugely chalk guys. So kind of a way you can differentiate because the sharper players that know the chalk and are going to play the obvious chalk in cash games, they're going to be max entering or highly entering the uh, the double ups. So it kind of raises the uh, the chalk percentage up in those. But I finished 14th here. There's a ton of us tied once again um, with, uh, with the score. Uh, and then there are... This guy right here, here's Jay Wexy again, uh, but uh, JTKF, JTKFC finished top with 355. He had Isaiah Cannon, who was higher owned in the single entry, 1.2% here. Uh, and he essentially had the same lineup as I did, except once again, you swap out Russell Westbrook, Jordan Mickey, and Tyler Johnson for Chris Paul, Chris Dunn, and... Uh, Isaiah Cannon, CP3 put up 52, Dunn put up 38.5, and, and Cannon put up 37. Uh, 
you know, pretty much chalk ownership across the board over here in the single entry as well. We move on to the first GPP. Actually, we'll come back to that one. So we'll go here to the excellent eights. This is the giant $2 or $8 uh, GPP. Uh, finished 112th in this one with a bunch of other people tied up here with me in this. Um, the ownership in this, Holmes, uh, around the same percentage as he was in, in cash, uh, but Tyler Johnson, the big one, he's down to 26. Richardson down to 26. Duran at only 41. Beasley, kind of a huge drop, about 30% low, or no, wait, about 20% lower than in cash, uh, 39.1. Mickey, only 25%-ish, and Westbrook at 38%. Help me win that uh, in the $8, 112th place netted me uh, two, wait, no. $197.50 for 112th place. Uh, not a bad finish in the excellent eights. Uh, so moving on, this is the single entry $12, uh, the NBA 30K pick and roll. Um, I finished eighth in this, and here were the ownerships here. Kevin Durant a little bit higher at 50%. Uh, I think if he was lower, I might have had a chance to actually win this thing. Um, but all the guys above me had Durant. And as you can see, once again, there's a million of us tied at uh at three this lineup was so chalk um but that's all right that's all right it crushed can't complain but uh in this one you can see the ownership's a little bit higher but still uh off their cash except homes homes seem to be relatively the same amount owned in cash and gpps uh westbrook a little bit lower in this 40 percent uh beasley getting a little bit higher than the than the regular same with johnson and richardson about 6% higher for Johnson and 10% higher for Richardson than the uh, giant $8. Um, and in this one, this one netted me $222.73. And then my big score of the night was the $33... No, wait, it's this one here. The $33 triple threat. Um, I finished in 7th place in this one. And Durant came in at 50, or thir only 38% in this one. That was my big that was my big savior. He was only 38%. Um and so every time he did something, I made moves. Um, really, really happy with with the finish here. Um, Tyler Johnson, 43%. Josh Richardson came in hugely saving me at only 25% in this. Put that put, put up that 45 burger. Westy was 50% in this. Beasley, 55%, so close to his cash game uh, ownership. Mickey, 40%. Uh, Holmes, all the way down at 17%. Um, not really a big deal. I mean, Holmes crushed his value. But he didn't like crush that it was like a, you know, Kevin Durant being 40% type crush. But uh, if you look, I was only, I was behind Jay Wexy, Wexy, who beat me out in a lot of contests. He finished in first, took home that $15,000. We already really took a lot. I can't, he won with Damian Lillard. That just pains me, dude. Uh, but I've won a lot with Damian Lillard. You can see here, there's an Omri Caspi line. He put up 34. Caspi, Caspi over Holmes. Where does that put me if I put Caspi over home? So I was like six more points. I would have been here. I've been in fourth. Um, what could I have done? Was there a one for Isaiah Cannon? I guess that twelve point swap would have put me in four first. If I play Cannon over Mickey, could I have done that? I don't even. Yeah, yeah, I could have done it. Uh, Holmes to center, Richardson to. No, wait, wait. Holmes to center, and then I just play Isaiah Cannon here. Yeah, I could have done that. Um, I did really like Cannon. Uh, if this would have been a pure GPP line, I probably would have done Cannon over Mickey. But it was a cash game lineup, so that's why I ended up there. And this lineup netted me twenty or twenty two hundred and fifty dollars, so two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, a really nice score for me. Um, first real big GPP. I mean, I've had a I've had a one K night on NBA. I usually play anywhere from a hundred to four hundred dollars in NBA somewhere in between there just to give you kind of a perspective so if i played 400 and i won a thousand that's not really that was pretty much just a little bit over a double up um but this was only i only played 145 dollars on this line um i wasn't wild in the last night uh, i played a lot more gpp than i normally do because of how chalk because when it's chalk like this you can kind of get away with going into gpps their cash lines tend to be a little bit lower um or, or the cash line in double ups tends to be higher, and the cash games in, um, or the cash line in GPPs tends to stay the same. So it kind of benefits you to play a little bit more GPP, and obviously it paid off last night. That's always my philosophy when they're super chalk, like the Heat were last night, and as they will be um, if we uh, we have them again 
tomorrow, I think. They play tomorrow. I think Dragic is still questionable. Um, he finished first in a couple of 50-50s and uh, head-to-heads and stuff. But here is, we'll take a look at this real quick. This was the other lineup I played. This was the pivot that I wanted to make. Um, so we'll take a quick look at this. Uh, this was the pivot that I was going to make, uh, and then I didn't make. It was James Harden to get Dion Waiters in. Dion Wa it was James Harden off of uh, Kevin Durant to get Dion Waiters in over Rashawn Holmes. Obviously, didn't work out. Uh, scored about 20 points less because Harden got outscored by Durant by 24. Um, and Waiters only outscored... Uh, um, what's his face? He only outscored Holmes by 7 points. So it was about obviously 17.75 difference and that was kind of that was kind of the thing this thing was actually crushing the eight dollar for a long time um it ended up finishing 23rd uh which is still a nice placing but for the longest time i was up here in second which was netting you oh were you winning two this was a small one that gets posted right before lock this is only 2200 teams uh i think it was netting you like i want to say like 375 dollars or something like that uh, so I was up there for a while, uh, and then obviously I got knocked down. I would have finished third here with my other cash game lineup. But, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Um, like I said, didn't love Jordan Bell. He did not produce on DraftKings because of the only two points for the blocks. He, he, if he would have had 21, it still wouldn't have been enough, but uh, he was much more viable on FanDuel where blocks are worth a whole lot more. He also fouled out as well, I believe. Um, and so he ended up not paying off his salary or coming through isaiah cannon man it's gonna it's gonna haunt me that that i talked about isaiah cannon last night and i loved him i just didn't play him but guys that's gonna do it um that's the breakdown of my lineup i hope you guys enjoy it i'll bring these every time i you know uh as much as i can um not just when i have big wins or whatever i'll break them down when i have when i have time but guys that's gonna do it drop the video like if you did subscribe if you have it and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out